At BF, their commitment to empowering young people goes beyond just providing programs. It involves a collaborative and structured approach to ensure that the voices and preferences of the young members, such as me, are at the forefront of what they do. I'd say one fundamental aspect of BEP is that, with the exception of maths and English classes, we are actively involved in deciding what activities we want to do. These suggestions are not just heard by the BEP board, but they're also valued and carefully considered by BEP. For instance, this summer, we all decided that we wanted to visit London Zoo, and in response, BEP took action and organised the trip. And to be honest, without BEP, I and most of the other members would not have been able to visit due to the expensive ticket prices. I'd say what makes BEP special to us is the culture of open communication. So for example, just like how I mentioned how our suggestions are always considered by the board, whenever we suggest something, we always get encouraged and we receive positive feedback from the board from our, our suggestions. And although it's important that while we are encouraged to share our preferences, what we want to do and activities that we'd like to do in the future, before any decision is made, BEP conducts safeguarding assessments and risk evaluation to make sure that it's okay for everyone to, first of all, be able to attend and to make sure that it's safe for us to attend as well. And I believe that having additional activities will benefit young people as I feel like BEP is just more than an organisation. We might look at it as just, oh yeah, it's somewhere that we can go, but really it feels like a second home. So we could even say like home away from home, just because when I'm at BEP um, Centre, I feel safe, valued and happy because I know that the people that I'm with there, they're going to take care of me. And it's kind of like a, a family community, a, co a family vibe. And I'd say that the trust and sense of belonging that I experience is what motivates me to actively participate and contribute to the programmes. I would say that in Belief Engagement Project, that everyone, all the youth participating, they have a say in what activities that we get to do. So if you like to bake or cook, there's like various cooking competitions that we've done in the past that can help you and various skills that you can learn from it. Uh, if you like sports, um, you can do basketball with the basketball coach. Um, you can go on the football pitch at the back of Selby Centre and play. You can do relay with the batons that we have. Um, I would say that with the feedback, um, because when we started, there wasn't really much baking things going on. So I spoke to Believe and I said that, why not do baking a cooking competition to see because I think that a lot of people my age like baking because they like can express themselves through the food that they're cooking and they can be creative with it and after that in the summer activities that happened we did a baking competition we made cupcakes and pizza rolls as well and I think that I'm involved in Believe as like I like to make posters, I like designing things as well. I like designing technology and art. So I like to design the posters and the leaflets for what's gonna the new events that are gonna happen in um Believe. And I think Believe doing these activities it helps me um with i can put a lot of things on my cv because i think if i have math science and english those are like the fundamentals but then if i have other things that other people might not have like baking if i know how to play the violin or something that i can learn uh it will really give me an extra step and put me at a higher level compared to other people billy youth is a place for all kids and family to come and enjoy the day for the weekend it also helps and it's a welcome environment for children at a young age and to a very old age. For example, if you're like me, 17, you could still go and enjoy and have fun, even though we're not supposed to have fun, I believe. For example, if you don't have the money, you could come at Believe and, you know, enjoy the day. Like we go, we do activities like we go to cinemas, we, you know, pick fruits, we go to the zoo to visit things and if you don't have the money for that believe is the place to go for, and for my experience for a person like me 
when I first went Billy Youth, I was a bit shy. But once I got to know everyone, I felt very calm and I made new friends. And I think that Billy Youth is a very well, good environment and it helps people come out of their comfort zone. And I also think that Billy Youth should be recognised more and more people should come so they could learn and also have a good understanding of the world. Thank you.